Welcome back to Educator.com, AP World History. In our session today, I want to look at a worldview change. Worldview change. Uh, remember, our we're in period five, which is 1750 to 1900. And during this period of time, a huge worldview change takes place in a, in a large number of people who think differently, radically differently than they had in the past. So we're going to look at that today. So first of all, what we're terming this, our, our time here, is the modern period. Okay, so... Um, modern. So, what's modern mean? What does modern mean to you? And I think when we first think about it, um, we think, uh, whoops, we think about going from the horse to the car, you know, uh, uh, and this car here is, you know, a self-driving car, no hands. So we're moving along. We're modern. We're not like that anymore. Okay, so there's a sense in which modern means up-to-date, newest thing, okay? I'm not looking at it that way right now. I'm trying to look at it from what I'm calling historical modern. What sea change in the way people think takes place that makes us modern versus not modern. We call it modernity. We're dealing with modernity, okay? So I have here uh, some differences. So pre-modern, before we get into modernity, most people thought, felt that authority is the final say. In other words, who's the wisest? Who's the one in the past that knew everything? Give me the Bible, uh, give me the Quran, give me the whatever it is. Give me the teachings of Confucius, and then I'll know everything. The, uh, the, that's all I need to know. Whereas the modern says, hmm, authority, can't trust it. Authorities uh, based on things of the past are no longer true. It hasn't been tested. You challenge authority. Pre-modern tradition is the way we understand what's the right way to go, what truth is. If we've done it that way always, there's a good reason for it, and we ought to keep doing it. And on the other side, it's not tradition, but science that leads us to truth. Um, traditions need to be challenged and uh, think about things, uh, test them out. Don't just accept things because we've always done it that way. And that the spiritual world is real. And if you're mo modern, if you're a part of modernity, uh, this was a this is a good way to get ourselves in it because in modern uh, understanding, spirits are illusions. Back in the long time ago days, there was a program on TV called Scooby-Doo. I suppose none of you went to see the movie, but um, Scooby-Doo was a cartoon on Saturdays and every show was exactly the same pattern. Some ghost was appearing or some magical things were happening and nobody understood it. What are we going to do about it? And by the end of the thing, Scooby had discovered that there was a natural explanation for what was going on. Those things don't exist. Okay. And you'll see this uh, in some TV programs, you know, that Somebody thinks that there's a ghost, but then there's not. Now, on the other hand, we've got a slew 
of new stuff on television about zombies and all kinds of spiritual things that are happening and considered to be real. All right. Uh, now, do you think when you watch those kinds of programs that zombies are real? Or is it a fun thing to think about? Do, you know, um, werewolves exist for real? Do you think werewolves exist for real? Okay, if you say, well, they're a good story and I like the, the idea about them, of course, I don't think they exist, then you're going to find yourself over here on the, on the modern side. I'm a modern person, okay? If you say, gosh darn it, ghosts do exist, there are evil spirits, we have to deal with them, and we have to deal with them in spiritual ways, uh, and uh, then you would be over here on the pre-modern side. What about illness? Illness is spiritual. If you get sick, call the witch doctor, call the priest, call the the uh, numancer, the person who will throw stones and say, mm, okay, here's what's wrong with you, take this. Um, or do you say illness is physical, something in my body is wrong, and there are ways to deal with that. There are medicines that attack that particular physical issue, and we got to go do it. And uh, so is illness spiritual or is it physical? And I think most of us, at least, maybe there are people on this side only and people on this side only, but a lot of us see that there are spiritual sides to an illness, but if you feel really sick and you need to, you feel like it's life-threatening, do you go to church, the synagogue, the temple, or are you to go to the hospital? Um, that kind of tells us where, what side you're on there. Religion is primary for pre-moderns. There's no pre-modern without religion. Religion is a huge part of these people's lives. Not different kinds of religions, but religion is primary. Whereas in the modern, religion is secondary. It doesn't mean that religion goes away and nobody's religious anymore. Uh, although some people are, some people are saying that in, well, if I'm going to be truly modern, religion is a bunch of bunk and I'm out of here. But for the most part, uh, religion continues to exist, but it's a secondary thing. Other things take priority over religion that hadn't before. Um, those of us uh, religious people uh, sometimes look at, you know, Sunday being the, the day that people go to church. And a lot fewer people are going to church. And why? Oh, because there's a soccer game or a football game. Uh, these things are now taking precedent. That's, that's a modern way of looking at religion. Okay, progress. You know, you know, somebody comes up with a new idea. And what do you do? You say, get out of here. That's kind of the pre-modern. You know, new ideas, they're suspect. Uh, they're suspicious, but in the modern, nothing's better than it's new. This is, you better get the latest iPhone, not that old one. Yeah. Okay. So that's the mo modern thinking is the newest, the better. And everything new is better than everything old. Everything old is better than new. Everything new is better than old. And intuition is king to the pre-modern. Uh, go with your gut. Uh, God speaks to you. Uh, you your, your inner self speaks to you in truths, and you must act upon that if you're going to be a real person. Whereas in the modern, reason is king. I have to think about things, and the more I understand things and I reason them out, the better 
person I'm going to be. So reason versus intuition. Uh, I hope by presenting this to you, you see that there is a huge difference, but also that there's some squishiness. That uh, many of us in the West, um, we are modern, but we have some tinges of this. And that people who are not Westerners, but in, live in pre-modern type of societies, have a lot of modern that mixed in with them. 